Hey, so you're looking at the dashboard of a 2021 Wrangler JL. This is a 4xe. And one of the things that I have recently installed in my 4xe is this 67 Design mount. Yeah, I've got the mount there. And then I've got a quad lock charging head on there. And of course it is a, a charging device. So I need to get a wire up to the top of this dash. Down underneath the dash, I have like a 12 volt power strip USB. It's got 12 volt outlets and stuff in it. And I wanted to get a wire from up here all the way down here. So I'm, I'm bringing you in mid project. So you can kind of see what I've done here. I have removed the head unit. And I, uh, before I did that, I had to remove the gauge, you know, the, uh, all the switches and stuff down here. And once I got that popped off, there's a lot of videos showing like people putting all this tape and everything on there. If you're really careful with a flathead screwdriver, you can get right in the side there and, and, and put your pressure more towards the plastic than your grab handle and you will not make a mark on that grab handle. But I uh, I just kind of weaseled it in there, putting pressure on the outside, got that first one popped. Once I got it popped, the whole thing just pops right out real easy. Uh, there are two screws down at the bottom of this plate. Imagine this is on here and around you know the radio, there are two screws down at the bottom that you will have to remove. And then there are four screws that go around the edge of the head unit. You can see those four screws there, screw holes there. And there is the one for the, uh, the plate itself. One there and one there. And once you get to here, what my thought is, I should be able to make a hole right up and through here to bring that wire up. And I'm gonna move I'm going to pause this video for a second while I work on that idea, but I think I can get a hole right up in there and you'll never see the hole. My, my, my thing is I hate seeing wires. Um, this, you know, media port on the front here is great, but then the doors always open if you have something plugged in there. And I'm just one of those OCD people that I don't like to see that. So that's why I brought you in midway here. I wasn't sure all this cool stuff I was going to discover, or I would have been shooting this video from the start. So here's my plan of where I hope to stick this hole is right here in here beside this. This little metal you see here is not actually a metal plate or anything. It's just a metal clip and you can see the light shining through that metal clip. So there's no metal to drill through like I was afraid of. This is all just plastic and there's nothing here to get in the way, nothing you can damage. So uh, this is where I plan to make my hole. And then that hole will be covered by the mount and the cable will just come out through the side here. Almost like it's, almost like we've thought of this and it's designed to do this. All right, so I ended up drilling my hole in a little different place than I had originally decided on. I was gonna come right in here, but then I thought, you know, that's probably gonna weaken that point that holds that screw. So I moved on over to the side here. Yes, the hole is huge, but I had to get a rather large, uh, whatever that is, USB-C in there, but we'll never see it. Uh, this will end up going in like this and you know, I, yes, it stinks. I might try to find like a rubber grommet or something that I can stick down in there, but for the most part, I'll never see that hole and it will run all the way down to where my outlet is. Little side tip, if you're mounting any 67 design or the, the bulletproof mounts or any of those mounts that go up in here, do yourself a favor and fold the windshield down. It gets, it is so hard to get in here and work with that windshield in the, in the way. So just a little tech tip there from somebody who uh, went through this. So here it is all put back together with a couple well-placed tie wraps to hold the cable. I might, I don't know, I might do that a little bit different, but it doesn't, you know, from sitting over here, it does not look bad and especially no wire hanging down. Now I'll go through and put the head unit back in and the uh, inch, the uh, knob cluster there. There's the head unit screwed back into place. You can see a screw, one, two, three, four screws to hold that in place.
I should mention before this goes back in, you see those orange tabs. Those do hold the uh, faceplate in there along with those two screws. So when you go to remove that, you're, it feels like you're gonna break it, but it's not bad. And to put it back in place, it's just like that. And we'll stick those two screws in there. All right, the faceplate's back on. Those two screws are in place. We're gonna lift this into place. But before I get there, I wanted to explain this wire is what's coming down from this charger up here. Once you get this out of the way, there's a nice little channel. You can go right down into behind the glove compartment and I'll show you in a minute how that gets down to our power supply. And again, when you're putting this thing back on, it literally just pops in there, just popping those tabs back in place. And you can see where I pried it open there. There's no marks or anything. You'd never know I was in there. Inside the glove compartment here, you wanna make sure you get your wire back in behind these things so it doesn't interfere with the glove compartment opening and closing. All right, I'm up underneath the uh, underneath the glove compartment, and this is where I have my little 12 volt power strip installed. If you have the aux switches in your JL, those wires actually show up up underneath the dash here. They, there's there's uh, six total wires here, and I think there are uh, four or six. I can't remember if all six of them show up out underneath. The hood out here those wires are, are in here beside the battery but there are four wires for the switches but there is also a constant 12 volt wire and there is a switch 12 volt and I have my little power strip wired to my switched 12 volt so now we have a very clean install no wires hanging nothing in the way here and uh, should provide us years of service. Hey, thanks for watching.